up. Let's see what we've got here. 19 year old, 19 year old, 19 year old male, 165 centimeters tall, which is about 5'5. Five five. Weighs about 200 kilos, two hunsky. He's been his age, uh, been his weight for about since 17. All right, so 19 year old, 200 kilos, same height as Freely. Started watching vegan YouTubers now for about a month. First getting into the scene because of vegan gains. So fuck all you fucking idiots out there who get on Facebook and he had a. You give vegan gains. Vegan gains is the only thing. He's big is better. No, you're a fucking pussy and vegan gains has balls the size of cantaloupes. And just because you have nothing, don't go hard on vegan gains because he's putting it out there. He's working hard and getting the name out there. Getting the vegan cause out there. So all you fucktards on fucking you think. Get your hand off it and start doing some content. Do you even fucking YouTube, bro? Do you even YouTube, brah? You fucking don't, so shut the fuck up. Until you're at that level, you can't say shit. Fuck off. Don't get in the way of people actually doing shit in life. Uh, so these guys found the vegan lifestyle through vegan games, just as many of these young guys are. And just out of curiosity and digging deeper, I am still not sure about the whole humans are supposed to consume meat argument. Nonetheless, I have stopped consuming all animal products. And bought myself a huge box of bananas. You're going to need more than one box, bro. You're going to need a fucking warehouse. And this is good because Sydney's a good place for fruit lovers. Flemington Markets. Flemington Markets. I would like to know if there's some bikes out there that can support my weight. And that you can recommend at your weight, 200 kilos, your local bike shop can help you. I'd probably recommend a 29er mountain bike with some disc brakes. Go to the local shop, maybe a giant, uh, just anything with 29 inch wheels will be a good start mountain bike from your local shop that can fit you up he lives in the suburbs uh, he's on a budget mate so so was i i was living on the street i was living on the street but i still had a fucking s works mountain bike because that's what i wanted to do i literally would camp out man i was homeless i'd be I'd ride my fucking s works mountain bike around it's camping in the bushes because all i cared about was money uh <laughs> money all i cared about was having enough money to have my fruit and my bike I didn't give a fuck about accommodation, so I would have a sleeping bag and I'd camp in, on the beaches or at Moriata. Actually, one time I was so poor that I flew from Cairns to Adelaide. Instead of going to Adelaide, I didn't have the extra 50 bucks, so I had to fly into Melbourne. So the same 50 bucks I rode from Melbourne to Adelaide in 48 and a half hours. That's how broke I was at one point. But again, this is poverty in Australia. It's not like poverty because half the world lives on less than $2 a day. So when we share, when I share my stories about, yeah, it's really tough, and it's fucking nothing, man. I still had a bicycle. I still had food to fucking eat. These people in certain parts of the world don't even hardly have even fucking any food. So we're doing it fucking easy. I'm fucking g'd up this morning. I'm fucking g'd up. I did a 200k ride the other night, and I went to bed like eight o'clock last night, and I am fucking pumped. Uh, quick, got a question here. I'd like to know your opinion on amphetamines. In encountering in in aid of encountering obesity, what happens is a lot of doctors recommend their patients get on amphetamines. People are like, oh my god, amphetamines! That's like those guys sell on the street. No, here's the thing: I never really knew. Uh, when I was doing amphetamines in the rave scene back in the nineties, we would buy speed amphetamines off dealers. <laughs> Why the fuck did we do that? We just could have gone to the local family doctor and got them. <laughs> so it's like the local family doctor is your number one stop for any stimulant or any anabolic steroid. So don't buy steroids in the gym rat, the TMW dude or whatever. Buy them from your local family doctor. If you're going to do speed and drugs, don't buy them from the fucking street dude. Buy them from your local family doctor and pharmacist. They can help you out. Get off your nut and get swole. I would not recommend it because you know, you've got to change your diet, bro. You're not 200 kilos because you're deficient in amphetamines. You're 200 kilos because you've been eating a standard Aussie diet. And I'd be 200 kilos as well. I literally would be 200 kilos or more because I love food so fucking much. How many people on the planet do you know who eat as much as me? There's not many. There's not many, is there? And the people who do eat as much as me and need a standard Aussie diet, they're fucking obese. So when I sit down to eat and eat that much volume, and people eating that from standard Aussie diet, they're obese, and I'm lean. And people who follow our advice are lean as well, long term. Uh, since cutting out all animal products, I have become the best in me in terms of actually wanting to do exercise. And because when you're carved up, you want to get out there and go. You need carbohydrates. And he also, he says, I remember the amount of dedication I put into calorie restricting. Maybe that's why I ballooned as drastic as I did. 
Nonetheless, I'm committed to my health. So this is fantastic. We have a, another example of restriction. Calorie restriction never works. You will balloon. But I think this guy's, or I know this guy's, he's he reached a point, and now he's just going to, he's going to fucking shred right down to 60, 65 kilo in due time. Maybe 50 kilos, we'll see. But at least 60, 65 would be a healthy BMI. He's going to feel a lot better. And he says, cheers, cunt. Stress kidney Sydney resident. And this is the demographic we're trying to appeal to, is the young crew coming up, man. Because most people over 50 or 30, they don't really give a fuck. They're too caught up in mortgage, kids, family, work shit. They don't want to change shit. But when you're a teenager, you're a bit more like, I can, I can got room for change. Let's go to the local doctor and see what we can get from the local doctor. All right, let's see what we've got here. Now, I don't pretend to be a doctor, except when your mum comes from my place on Wednesday night. Let's see what we've got here. The common weight loss drugs that you can get from your local family doctor. Now I've got all these from my local family doctor, local friendly pharmacy. And these are all drugs that you commonly use in weight loss scenes. We've got asthma puffers, salbutamol, increases fat burning effect. This is a steroid that I started when I was eight years old, seven years old maybe. And I was on this for how many years in my life? A long, 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 long time. This is one of the most common weight loss drugs out there and it's really bad for your fucking teeth. So we've got the salbutamol, fentanyl, banned in cycling. You need to fucking jump through hoops to be able to use this in cycling. This is a performance enhancing drug. And I'll see people win fucking money raises. Eight year olds. So we start, I use this as a sports day, man. I remember eight years old having like 10 puffs for sports day. I was doping as an eight year old. If, if someone like Chris Froome or something uses this, they need to get jump through loopholes to get past to use it legally. If you're eight year old kid in sports day, no worries, mate. We have Primo Testin, testosterone and anthate. Powerful anabolic steroid, burns fat, builds muscle, increases red blood cell count, weight loss drug. We have Phentamine. Remember these Phentamine pills I had from last year? That is for like almost two years in my drawer. Phentamine is the most common drug that if you're obese, the doctors will put you on. It's, a, it's an, like an amphetamine based thing. 30 milligrams of Phentamine, they call it Metamine or Duramine. Very popular with the BBG girls or Ashley Bynes, things like that. But I don't recommend it because all thing it's doing is going to fuck your adrenals, fuck your fire later on. And you're going to balloon out. Look at Ashley Bynes. <laughs> Ballooning out. Look at all the celebrities, man. How many celebrities... I mean, do you have time for me to mention all the celebrities who balloon out after taking all these stimulants? It doesn't work long term. People I'll do it short term and then I'm like, no, no, no. It never fucking works long term. And in the short term, you're a fucking nut job to be around. So fuck off the drugs and do everything natty. We have Ritalin. I thought Ritalin would be really hard to get in Australia. Easy as fuck. Went to the local doctor. What do you want, mate? How many milligrams? How many... Whatever. This is right now. What do you want? Yeah, you yeah, know what's mate. Can't even pay attention. I'm too poor to pay attention. Have some Ritalin then. Ritalin. Uh, <laughs> now this is a drug for kids. I love it. Can you read that there? Uh, I'll let you know what it says. Keep out of reach of children. <laughs> Keep out of reach of kids until they can't pay attention and fucking fill, fill them full of speed shit. Controlled drug. Possession without authority illegal. But we'll give it in the hands of eight-year-old kids at school. Five-year-old kids. What's the age of kids are taking Ritalin these days? It's fucking crazy. It's a fucking... I've taken that drug before. It's the same as speed, man. We're giving kids speed. We're giving kids speed. I couldn't believe how easy Ritalin was to get in Australia. Why the fuck in the 90s was I breaking in the cars and doing crime to buy speed? to have the money to buy speed from the local drug dealers when I could have just got some Ritalin or Adderall. And I could have saved myself a lot of time, a lot of crime time, just getting drugs from the doctor instead. Sustenin 250, another testosterone ether mix. Uh, test propanate, phenylpropanate, isocaparate, uh, and decanoate. So we've got four types of testosterones here in a little ester. Local family doctor, easy to get. Testosterone patches for, um, you know, Tyler Hamilton, Lance Armstrong, local family doctor, not a worry, mate. So drugs are easy to get. Don't do drugs from your gym rat friend. Don't do drugs from the street dealer. If you're going to do drugs, get them from the doctors. Get them from the local family pharmacy. Get it from your local friendly family doctor. But I don't recommend doing drugs because you're not treating the cause. You're addressing the symptom. Drugs will tweak your metabolism. Yes, they work but it won't be long term. What comes up must come down. So I would say change your diet, man. You're not 200 kilos because you're eating like us. And everyone knows that, that's pretty obvious. So that's my tip, man, is definitely 
you're on the right program now. Yeah, you don't need all the other shit. And I can this is this is the beauty, man. I can be honest and transparent and say I've done so many drugs in my life, both recreational, pharmaceutical, and everything works, but nothing works lasting long term than militant dietary and lifestyle reform. That's what works long term, man. So I would tell anyone, not just this person here, I'd tell anyone, if you're fucking serious about lean, being lean and sane and happy and having energy to get shit done in your life, daily life, then this is a life for you. Simple as that. Yeah,